And yeah, I've finally got it. That's all I'm going to really say about this. But it's just, I'll try and read it out, see if you can guess what it is, what it says. US aircraft industry dominated the world's airways. European aircraft manufacturers. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about the A320. But I'm talking about a special A320. Well, to me, anyway. Because it's an A320. That... Wow, well, the airline I quite fell in love with, to be honest. And I haven't got actually got to fly, fly with them yet, but I definitely do want to. But that's from being in the States, and I'm actually sad that I'm not actually going to see many of their planes this year. Not as many as I did see last year, but I'll put some photos up. Anyway, but I have to say, this is a beauty. And I love the airline, and I wish they had them in Europe, but we don't. And they also operate the ERJ-170. They operate at JFK, the actual hobbies at JFK. And there's some like Jeremiah Jets, they've got a bit of a certain colour about them. Jet blue. Yep. I flew out of Terminal 5 at JFK. I was kind of addicted to jet blue. And the terminal is amazing at JFK if you get the chance to fly out of it. And across Aer Lingus premium flights, but you know, mess with the hair a bit here. Yeah, I wanted an A320, I wanted a jet blue plane when I was in America. And could I find one? No, but this baby had sharklets. So it's my first A320 with sharklets, second A320 with sharklets. Okay. The other one's A321. Third A320. Oh, God. It's my first Airbus A320-200. My first Airbus A320-232, to be precise, to have sharklets and a jet blue livery. So, shall we have a look? I think we should. Blue over it. It's jet blue. 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 I was desperate for this, and I did pay the twenty nine quid it cost. And somewhere I worked out how much I thought it should have cost. And I can't find how much I thought it should have cost now. My list price. Oh, the American Eagle one from the list price I made it out. It should have been twenty. Somewhere. No, 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 no. My American Embraer jet should have been 24, and it, I paid 27, so that ain't bad. And this one, my jet blue 134, I think it's 134. Yes, it is. Good. I should have paid 25, 26 pounds, and it's cost 29. So, and that's online. So that's with post and packaging. But yeah. So I've got some other airlines that I'm interested in buying on this one. Probably have a bit of a rundown on the website on Wings 900, which you should also check the link at the bottom for. And if you've missed the last video, click on that link. But yeah, so let's unbox it actually. You had me at blue. That is actually what it must say. I actually want to. I'm actually going to send a photo to this to Elon. By the way, you might be watching this, Elon. Probably not. But I hope you've had a safe flight back to Seattle or Anchorage. Don't know which one you've actually gone to. I should flew back from Birmingham. Birmingham in the Midlands. To Anchorage, but yeah. We're all really interested in missing you. Woo! Yeah, this is the new thing. A320-1400. And next time you come over, bring some Gemini jets. I don't care if there's not a model shop in at Sea Tech or wherever. Give me some jets. They're cheaper over there. Oh my god, this is lovely. 
آقای I don't need to collect any more planes, ever. I will, but I don't actually need to now. I've got my JetBlue plane. Freaking hell, how much detail is on this? I don't like the I don't like the fitting though for the A320. Don't like the A320 mold. But bloody hell, that's nice. Bloody hell. I think I'm actually going to have to do a review on this. I'm actually going to have to do a review. Because bloody hell. I've got an A320 in JetBlue. Now I just need the NeoJ one second. But when I mean the detail. You. I can't work out how to do this. You had me at blue. Fly fit. I think it says. I don't know, I'm going to actually refer to the box for this, dudes, but. Yeah, I can't actually read it on the box. Fly FT. I don't know what that means. Somebody here. Uh, you know, please tell me. Oh my god. JetBlue engine! Got a photo of one of those. Terminal 5, and its registration is N805JB. I wonder what the JB is for. Oh, look at that tail. That's another thing I love about JetBlue is the tails that they have. Oh, I got to see the Red Sox plane and all when I was at JFK. I actually got to see the Red Sox aircraft. Oh, I think I've got a photo of it somewhere. Anyway, this is where I insert the photo. Just there. But yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I kind of fell in love with JetBlue. Will you marry me, please? Look at that. Like, I don't, these are supposed to be an amazing airline. I've not been lucky enough to fly them. I got to fly Aer Lingus, though. And they use Terminal 5 at JFK, which of course is JetBlue Terminal. And. I've not flew out of Terminal 8 or 7 or whatever I'm flying out of this year yet, but can't actually wait for that. But yeah, by the way, you should do pre clearance in Dublin or Shannon, preferably Shannon, because you get to fly on the 757. But oh, this year we're not going, we're not doing pre clearance, but oh my god, you just get to see Jet Blue though. <laughs> and he's like, I think I need. This is going to suit my airport well, because JetBlue, I think are going to add some standards to the airport for low cost. And I am looking into, it's my first low cost airline I think, well no Legion, but a giant. But yeah, I have a JetBlue plane, oh my god. I'm in love with this. I think it's even got a copyright thing there. It's got a copyright on the name. Do they carry that or? I'm gonna have a look now. Yeah, I think I like this plane quite a bit. Let's just say, but yeah, I'm going to stop the review video now, because, yeah, the unboxing, but I think I'm going to paste a review on this on Wings 900, so keep an eye out, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you probably later this week, because I want to do an airport update when I can, bye!